So you're a fitness professional, most likely running Facebook ads. I want to give you a couple nuances to help you do that even better in this video. What's going on guys? Duriel came here from Healthpreneur on another walk, another rainy day. But oh, we're gonna bring the sunshine, yo! All right, so a bit of context. 95% of our business is run on Facebook ads. Uh, Health Burner since its inception, six years now, we've not had a single week of negative ROI running Facebook ads. And we typically spend more than six figures a month as of this recording, and we continue to grow uh, in that fashion. So what I'm about to share with you uh, comes from experience, not from reading a book or having taken a course. And Second is I've been online since 2006, longer than uh, many people have been alive maybe watching this video. So anyways, um, all right, so let's talk about a couple, um, a couple of basics. Number one is you have to know what you can and cannot say uh, to running Facebook ads, okay? So a big, big thing in the health and fitness space is there's a, just read through Facebook policies, okay? So look at Facebook ad policies online, just read through it, it's important. But I wanna give you the most important thing, is you have to avoid personal attribution. Personal attribution basically means you can never make somebody feel bad for who they are as a person. So as an example, a great headline that could work in an email or a sales letter or a piece of direct mail could be, Want to lose the belly fat? Question mark. It's a fair question, right? The assumption here is that the person has belly fat. That's known as personal attribution. You run that on Facebook, your ad's gonna get shut down, your ad account will probably get banned. It's as simple as that. So you have to understand this to such a level where you're able to comb through your copy and make sure that your copy is never insinuating there's anything wrong with someone, yet at the same time, help have them through reading your ad raise their hand because they recognize there is something wrong with them that they need to fix. How do you do that? Well, it's a bit of an art and a bit of a science. Thankfully, when we work with our clients, listen, we're very good at what we do and we have some of the best copywriters on the planet in the health and fitness space that work with us as well and help our clients. But I wanna give you um, a really simple framework. We call it hook story offer. You may have heard of that before. It's I'm not reinventing uh, the wheel here, but it's a really simple framework. Number one, the most important thing with your Facebook ads, you have to stop people in their tracks. How do you do that? It's gonna be by understanding the most important real estate on Facebook or Instagram, Instagram is owned by Facebook, is gonna be the image. When you, look, when you scroll through, here's a simple test. Scroll through your phone, when you're on Facebook or Instagram, just go like lightning speed, fast, 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 and then stop when you feel compelled to stop. And it's probably not because you read a first line on some post. It was, you, you saw there was an image and something about that image, or maybe a video, we'll use image for a second. Something about that image caught your attention and it got you to stop scrolling. That's the purpose of your ad, first and foremost. Now, a lot of ad people will tell you the purpose of the ad is to get the click. And in the context of selling a $7 ebook or a free lead magnet, maybe. But what I'm gonna to propose to you is that you should be selling high ticket coaching. And if that's the case, congratulations. And you need a longer ad, which is where the story comes in. So the hook is the first one or two sentences. We have the image that stopped the scroll. Now we have the first one or two sentences which are going to get people compelled to continue reading. And it's gonna be a statement or a question that again is compliant, right? Not wanna lose belly fat, not gonna work. But it's gonna be a question or a statement that's gonna pull people in to continue reading. And then we move into the story. So the story, this is where the magic is, is being able to tell a story where the person can see themselves through the story, right? So maybe it's your own story, a client's story, whatever, but they can see themselves in that process because it's not about you, it's about them. But again, you have to be able to do this in such a way where they feel it's about them, not about you. Story, 
is by far the most effective way to advertise on social media because people love stories. Stories have been around for since the beginning of time. That's how people communicate. And it's a lot easier to remember that than facts and statistics. So a really simple framework for a story is star, struggle, discovery, results. Hi, my name is Yuri. When I was 17 years old, I lost all my hair to an autoimmune condition. For the next eight years, I went from doctor to doctor with no answers for what was going on. Eventually, I went to nutrition school, got my degree in nutrition, and discovered one simple thing that made all the difference. As a result of that, I have more energy than ever before. I regrew my hair, although that obviously fell out a couple years ago after getting another vaccination. Long story short. Um, but basically what I did there is I, taught, I introduced myself, talked about the struggle, introduced the discovery, and then talked about the app results. It's a very simple framework for how to share a story, and you can use that on anything, emails, social posts, etc. And then it segues into the offer. So the offer is, okay, cool. If you'd like to, to see what I did and how other clients like me have gotten great results with this methodology or this discovery, click the link below and watch this new training. There you go. That's the formula right there. Now, obviously I've given you the skeleton, the framework, the anatomy, but again, what's the flesh look like, right? That's where the magic is. So there's only so much I can share in this video, but we've got some other awesome videos on the channel. Uh, if you just type in Facebook ads, there's uh, some really, really good ones. Anyways, in the meantime, if you want some more help, we've got a great training along these. Hi, cute little dog. Uh, have a great training called the Perfect Client Pipeline. If you want to learn how to attract more clients using Facebook ads uh, in a profitable way, uh, just have a link below. If you click on it, you can watch it today absolutely free. And if you like what you see and you'd like our help to help you get more clients at a profit using Facebook, then uh, you're more than welcome to book a call if you qualify for our help after watching the training. Uh, but for now, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Tons of other stuff to help you grow a successful online business. And uh, I'm going to continue my walk and I'll see you soon. Ciao.